And this is my let's play for Minecraft. Um, I just started this world up here. I'm just going to take a look around, see what I got around me. Nice swamp area. That will be good for finding the uh, witch in the witch hut. New with 1.4, which this is. Um, come on. This is slow generating today. Let me take a look at my options. Everything looks fine. Ooh, extreme hills. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna think I'm going to head that way. Um, so yeah, this probably is not going to be new to many people, but there is a lot of Let's Play series out there for Minecraft. And so a lot of people might be asking me why I chose to go ahead and do a let's play for Minecraft. Well, I kind of needed a change of pace, I guess you could say. Um, I originally stumbled across the game. I googled something and it took me to the YouTube video I needed to see for what I needed. And on the right hand side, you know how they have those uh, suggested material for you to watch. Well, there was a video over there uh, said top 10 houses in Minecraft. And looking at the title card that was up for it, you know, I said, well, what the heck is this? You know, let's check this out. So I pulled it up, and I watched that video, and that's really the first time I was ever exposed to anything Minecraft. And I said, well, this looks pretty cool. You know, this looks like something I might enjoy. So I searched around YouTube, found a few different YouTubers uh, with LPs about Minecraft, and I found a tutorial series, and I started watching through it and everything, and I really enjoyed watching the content, so I got the game, and I've been playing it for, I don't know, a few months now, and uh, don't run, I'm your friend, come back, so uh, I don't know, I figured, you know, well, I'll give a let's play a try, you know, just give me something new to do, I guess you could say. Um, if I happen to be the first person that you've seen play Minecraft, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> this isn't going to be a tutorial series, so I may do a tutorial series sometime down the road. I don't know yet. Uh, in fact, I probably will. So, yeah. Otherwise, you know, there's there's a lot of great tutorial series out there, and the main tutorial series I actually found was. Uh, by a YouTuber named uh, Paul Soros Jr. So, you know, if, if I'm the first person you've seen play Minecraft, by all means, go check him out. Uh, he's got a tutorial series where he'll teach you everything there is about it. Uh, but in a nutshell, I guess, you know, Minecraft is what's called a sandbox game. Uh, everything you do is dependent upon the materials you have that you have to collect yourself, and you have to craft your own items. So everything that you use in the game, you have to get yourself one way or another. Whether it's through collecting raw resources like the wood you've seen me collecting, or crafting an item out of resources you have already uh, collected, so it's it's pretty it's pretty neat. I like it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tree off here. And you know what? What is my uh, what did I set my difficulty on? It's probably set on something different from before. Yeah. I'm going to change that to normal. We set on easy for something else I was doing. I don't remember what it was. But uh, let's finish off this tree. Now I'm going to head part way up the mountain over here that we've that we seen. Uh, and I'm going to just dig right in. So for the first night, of course, you know, you want to get indoors and get stop yourself from being exposed out here. Because the, for, at night time, you know, there's all these lovely creatures that come out and, you know, they really do everything they can just to try and hug you. They, they love hugging you. But, uh, nice chunk error. See, there, there's, where the hell did he come from? Um, it's going to be a hurtful hug. Oh, did you just blow up already? Come on. 
There you go. Oh, thanks. He helped me out. Exposed me to some coal. That's, that's excellent. But, uh, yeah, could you see that hug right up in your face? That, uh, not very nice. He must be, uh, <laughs> foreign. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, you know, let's just make a few of these into planks. Make a workbench. I'll get myself a pick going here. Start collecting some of the coal. You know what? I'm going to get a couple more pieces of chicken first. That works a lot best, better than hitting them with a piece of wood. Okay. Ooh, apples. I'll use those later on if I ever get some gold. Alright. That should be good on chicken for now. And then once I get established, uh, probably tomorrow in the game, I'll uh, go ahead and start a uh, chicken farm. That way I won't have to worry about food on a regular basis. Although tonight, I think I'm going to look, uh, I think I'm going to stick outside a little bit. Try and find me a couple skeletons. Get some bones for uh, bone meal. Uh, it's just a faster way of getting seeds also, rather than just running through and hitting the grass. Because that can sometimes take forever if you want, like, multiple seeds, of course. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and dig out a small hole here for myself already. So, yeah, that is... Uh, how I first got exposed to Minecraft and my choice to play it and up to now so not all that interesting but maybe good trivia facts if you'd like to know um, let me grab these There's a lot of coal here I'm not going to get it all right now. I'm just going to hollow out a place for myself. Get some stone, of course. Okay. Sun's almost down. Let's uh, make a furnace. I'll get that chicken cooking. After. There we go. Alright. And then let's make some torches. Go ahead and get this lit up in here. Oh, you know if I... Huh. There we go. Dig out a little bit more first. Might be a little bit easier to place the torch right there. There we go. Alright, and let's bring this inside. Come on, thank you. And... Real quick, let's get a couple more pieces of chicken. You know what, no. Let's go ahead and make an axe. Get rid of some of these trees. And then we'll see about chicken at the same time. There's an axe. Let's get a couple swords going. In case I'm still out here when it gets dark. Get all this off the bar. Uh, let's get a stone pickaxe too. And that'll definitely be better. All right. Oh wow. 
Let me get the chickens first. There we go. Ooh. There you are, little buddy. There we go. Um, there's one. Ooh, and he left a present for us, too. Oh, there's a cave back there, apparently. Hey. All right, I'll chop this tree down, then we'll head back inside, take a look at uh, what we have, eat some food, come back out, look for a skeleton. So, I'm going to do an entire series. And like I said, this is patch uh, 1.4.4. Um, I'm going to do an entire series throughout uh, all the way up to killing the end dragon and setting up an entire base for just mass resources afterwards. Because uh, once I uh, destroy the dragon, then I'm going to actually go to the end and I'm going to make a uh, XP grinder in the end for Enderman. So that will be awesome to have at that point. Uh, effectively, we should be able to go from level 0 to level 30 XP uh, in roughly two minutes or so. I uh, have been contemplating just how much I'm going to die constructing the thing. Because, you know, it, there's void everywhere and to do the grinder we're gonna dig or not dig but we're gonna place blocks all the way out way far away from the actual landmass itself and then uh, build the spawning platforms um, and it's gonna be uh, height related damage so we'll build all that you know I should probably make a shovel and that will be a pretty extensive build. Um, whenever, whenever I take undertake a expensive build, not expen well, it's going to be expensive in items, but uh, extensive build, I guess I should say. You know what? Now I'm not even sure if I actually said extensive or expensive the first time. So I'm going to watch this back and see, you know, how much of an idiot I just made myself look like. But uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, whenever I undertake a large build of any kind, I don't know if I'm going to show myself actually building it like every block for block, because that can be a large, well, I don't know that I have enough story material <laughs> to keep you entertained the entire time that uh, I'm building the structure. So... I don't know that uh, I'll actually record every little detail. I'll probably record starting it up, you know, laying out the outline for it, the foundation, I guess you could say. And then, uh, you know, check back with an up update, like once the walls are up or anything of that nature. And then check back with another update when I'm just about done, and then another update about it once it's fully finished, which, you know, if it's like a medium-sized product project, like an actual, like, house or just partial base or whatever, then, you know, that'll probably all be in the same episode. But uh, for anything, like, largely expansive, like the Enderman XP Grinder, uh, that will be multiple episodes with multiple updates. I'm not going to show that block by block because it'll take forever. Um, not to mention, I don't know if I will have the full time to sit down in one sitting and build it in just without stopping because you know aside from right now this is just a hobby you know I am a uh, full-time student 
and I actually I actually go for uh, computer programming and database management. And with the time I spend looking at code, you know, I really only have like maybe one day a week to record anything for this. So when I do it, I'm going to try and record enough for multiple episodes to be uploaded uploaded throughout the week. Um, I'm hoping for between three and five episodes a week. I'll know more in depth about what I'll be able to do once I actually get this going. And not to mention, you know, this is like the worst time of year for a full-time student to start a Let's Play series on YouTube. Because, oh, if I had a golden apple, I'd cure you, buddy. I don't have a villager. Um, you know, this is uh, going up on the final few weeks of the semester. You know, finals are coming up. And for my computer programming, you know, I don't have tests for finals. I have brought uh, large-scale projects I have to do. And everything has to work properly in the end with all the safeties built in. And So my finals are a bit more extensive than just having to worry about a simple test. I mean, sometimes I wish I just had a test to take and that was it. Got two bones. Good enough for me. Actually, let's see about one more. Um, I'm, and I'm not into like super advanced programming yet, uh, but some of the projects are still kind of extensive. Um, in the spring, uh, it was uh, programming with Visual Basic, which is pretty similar to C Sharp, just pretty much different syntax, which is, uh, if you're not familiar with the term syntax, it just means, uh, it's like the rules, like for the English language, you know, or any other language for that matter. Um, there's rules regarding sentence structure, you know, adjectives, pro, uh, nouns, pronouns, everything like that nature. And there's rules for how the sentence gets uh, set up and like if you take one sentence and just rearrange the words it's not going to make sense but if you arrange the words in, like in a normal sentence then you know anyone can read it and make sense of the sentence well the coding is the same way there's syntax um, with different languages in coding uh, there's different end symbols for like the end of a line of code so you know, I, I forget where the heck I was even going with this. I, I have no clue at this point. <laughs> I don't know where I was going about syntax. Um, oh, uh, the VB language is similar to uh, C Sharp. So, I mean, C Sharp has different, like, end symbols, and VB has different end symbols. Uh, but in the, in the spring, I had programming with Visual Basic, and uh, one of the, it was, our homework is pretty much just called like a lab assignment. And what we had to do at one point was uh, program, oh, I got a carrot, nice. I wish it was a potato. I had to program uh, an alarm clock with safety features built in that, uh, you know, the alarm wasn't on until it was set to be on. And then there was a checkbox that they could check to turn it on or off once they had set the time for the alarm to wake up. Uh, there was different options they could use for the actual alarm itself. There was a beeping noise we put in. Uh, we also put in about a 12 second audio clip that would repeat itself. And we also gave them the option to uh, do a text -to speech thing where you know they type in what they want the computer to say and when the alarm goes off, the computer will actually say what they typed. And it'll just repeat it until they get up. And you know that you know, actually thinking about it now, it was it was kind of simplistic, but at the time, you know, there's it was kind of, it was pretty in depth, I guess. Um I'm trying to remember the details about it, about the problems I had to overcome with the code, and I'm having trouble remembering them. <laughs> Um, I'm supposed to have an advanced Visual Basic class, and it wasn't offered in the right uh, schedule format for the fall. So, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to get that class for this fall. And then I was supposed to take C Sharp, and they actually canceled it because not enough people, people enroll in the blah words. Let me try that again. 
not enough people enrolled in the course, so they canceled it entirely for the semester.